Hello and welcome to the first video of Introduction to Programming Using Java. So the first thing that we need to do is set up your computer and the most important thing is picking an IDE that you feel comfortable in using. So in this video what we're going to be doing is we're going to be talking about what is a uh, IDE, um, what are some popular Java IDEs, and what are the advantages and disadvantages of those IDEs? A good way to think about an IDE is to think that it's a software box which contains all the basic tools that we need to write and test software. So it will have a text editor where we can write down all the code for our program. However, it will also have additional support. So for example, it will have different colors for different keywords so it'll be easier to read for us or it might give us suggestions for new keywords that we might want to write additionally if when we're trying to find an error it might help us point to where the mistake is in our code so instead of having to read all of the code again and again it will point to where that error potentially could be lastly it can build and run the code for us so we can distribute it later on. So think of it as an environment that contains all these tools that we'll be using to write and test our software. So which IDE should you get? Well that's a difficult question and that you need to ask yourself or think about certain questions to answer that. So what kind of projects do you want to do in your IDE? So different IDEs might have different advantages and different supporting tools. So if you want to do Android development, you might choose a different IDE than if you want to do some web applications. Also, have a think about why you're learning Java. Certain industries will use different IDEs. And again, if you're learning, if you are just learning Java to pass the MTA, then I would suggest you downloading the Visual Studio Code as you'll see many examples using that IDE. However, some widely used IDEs in the industry are these three. Each of them have their advantages and disadvantages. So over the next couple of videos, I will be installing each of these onto my system as well as installing the Visual Studio Code so you can download them all and you can see the difference between them. If, as you download, you find that your Java is running a bit slow or your computer is running a bit slow, you can use or some more lightweight IDEs, which will not be so heavily intensive on your computer. Before we stop the video, I would like to talk a little bit about some of the advantages and disadvantages for the widely used IDEs. So if we look at here, you can start seeing the slight differences between the IDEs. They all have those tools, but they're all aimed slightly differently. So for example, the IJ IDE has some great autocomplete tools and can give you a list of uh, a number of quick fixes if it detects a problem. However, there are two different versions, a free version and a paid version. For you to do web development with the IJ, you need to do a paid version. So for Android development, it might be a good idea to download it, but if you're not willing to pay, and you want to do web development, it could be a good, better idea to do another IDE. Eclipse is completely free no matter what. It has loads of support um, and plugins that you can use to make your programming more efficient. However, there are some downsides. For example, the user interface is not the most friendly for beginners. It has a steep learning curve. Also, because there's a lot of plugins and support, when you update them, there can be issues where the compatibility with one plug plugin doesn't match up with your software, so it starts having issues. NetBean is another one. It is not so widely used as the first two in industry, um, as because there is less support for Android development and less plugins. 
However, it's completely free and I think the user interface is better for beginners. So we've talked a little bit about some of the common IDEs and I've hoped you understand the importance of it in software developing. Um, I hope you will join me in the next couple of videos as we download some of these and we have a look at them and so you can practice them at home and decide which one you like and which one you will use for your Java development. If you're interested in keeping up with the videos, um, please subscribe to the channel um, or like and leave a comment. Thank you and see you in the next video.